co founder of Light a Child's Life Foundation. Hi, my name is Chelsea Mugambi, and I'm also the co founder of Light a Child Life Foundation. And together, we work to empower and transform lives through education, mentorship. We also do training, character molding, life coaching, and talent morphing. The vision we have for Light a Child Life Foundation is to raise children into a generation that understand who they are, who they are, and what they have been called to do so that they may go into their in to their spheres of influence and permeate the light that they have grown. So Light a Child Life Foundation work revolve around identity crisis. We see a youth and a generation that has a lot, a lot of identity crisis and people really do not know who they are. So we want to see the world grow into a place where children can exist safely. And we want to see a world where children are no longer forced into early marriages or children are no longer into drug abuse or peer pressure. On the 9th of March 2016, we started this organization yeah. in a classroom. And we just realized, especially even in our campus, that so many things that are happening and so many conduct that we see would have been stopped earlier if, if, if those um, if good habits were instilled in them even at a younger age. Because even as our parents keep on saying that, you know, if I was mentored at an earlier age, if I was told this thing at an earlier age, you know, things would be a bit different. Yeah? And so we celebrated uh, our first anniversary on the 9th of March this year. And yeah, we just really appreciate and love what we do. So this is a passion and a vision that is burning in our hearts. And what we realize is that children between the age of 0 to 5 can be created into what you want them to become. They are like a piece of clay in your hands and you mold them into what you want them to become. So we also realize that things don't become wrong or they don't end up wrong, they start wrong. So between the ages of 0 to 5, we really focus on that age gap, on that age group, and we work towards molding these children into who they want to become and into them realizing that they have been called into this world for a purpose. And I also think we really also try to focus between the age of 13 to 18 because at this particular time, even though things did actually start right, at this time they're trying to discover who they are, what should we be doing, why do I exist, there's so much pressure to fit in mm -hmm. and there's so much pressure to try and belong. So if they find a sense of love even from, uh, from people, because I, I, I really realize that Everyone in this world is looking for love, just look for it in the wrong areas. Mm. And so if this age gap between 13 and 18 are able to find love in a good way, are able to identify themselves within love, then they will be able to become very respectable in society and do great things and even empower and impact the lives of the people who will be the, behind them. So what we do is we work like bacteria, where bacteria is you realize that it spreads out very fast. So we want to impact 20 lives for what we say is normally for one we live. I exist because of one person and she exists because of one person. And if we talk to just 20 people, the 20 can go out and spread like bacteria and they can infect other 40 people. And this is not bad infection, this is good infection. And if we, we are able to permeate into each and every person's life, then the world will become a better place. It just starts with one person, with one vision. <laughs> So one of the biggest achievements that we have, re we have really had is with the Beauty Intensity campaign where we were going to girls high schools to just speak to them and talk and mentor them on that their, their beauty is not about outward appearance but it is about the life that is within them. It is about their vision, their purpose, their identity, and it's not about their bodies, yeah? Another um, big project that we also really are proud of is the Dagorita Child Development Center. We have gone, it is a rehabilitation center for street kids. Mm -hmm. So we have gone there to spend time with them and have fun and also to mentor the, the, the men or the boys on being a man, that being a man is not about muscle, but it's about responsibility and taking initiative and just being a leader. And we're also talking with the girls on their beauty, body love and health and just purpose and identity. One of the other achievements that we really had is with the new life where we had gone to just really spend time with the kids and because they're really small, they're like between 
zero to about three years old. About three years old. So we're just basically going to have fun with them, give them love, just share and fellowship with them, yeah, which is really amazing and we had a good time. We have also done a shoe drive at Kayole and what we did is we went to the school and we were able to move out talent, which is basically football. And we gave the kids new shoes. So each and every child went out of that place with new shoes. And what we do basically is we, we ensure that these children have been able to realize that they have a voice and they have to be passionate about their originality, their vision and their purpose, like she said. We have also been able to go through a program called ELF, which is Emerging Leaders Foundation. We are cohort, proudly cohort 2016. And we were under Karen Wakoli, who is very passionate about the youth. And the whole six months program has been able to change our, 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 ourselves in terms of a paradigm shift. What we knew is not what we know now, and we are thankful for it. And under ELF, we were able to go through a program where we went for donations in kind and donations in money at Moody Children's Home, or which is basically known as Moody Children's Family. And I love what they say. They say that they are a family, and they love each other, and they call their founder dad and their, their, the wife of the founder mom. And through Moody Children's Family, we were able to see they need love and we give them love and we were able to mentor them the whole day and we've carried a few other people in terms of we talk to them time and time again and we are able to keep in touch with them. So what makes us different is that we want to grow with the children. We don't just go to a place and impact them and then just leave because impact is long term. We want to see a long term effect. And a long-term effect can only be seen if we are able to keep in touch with them day to day, month to month, year to year. So we grow with them for a whole period of time. And that is why at the moment we are doing Operation 2020, which is the Form 1 class of, uh, right now, which is the Form 1 class, so which is basically the Form 4 class or the KCSC class of 2020. And we grow with them. We do it in several high schools. So we mentor them. Um, we do it weekly or monthly according to the school's program and we offer mentorship and uh, character molding and what I have been able to see is that these girls need love and they have love now and these girls want to see a change in their body, they want to see a change in their vision, they want to see a change in their intellect and we hope and pray that we will be able to fill in the shoes because they are big shoes. So we hope and pray that we will fill in the shoes and be able to offer what they do. Na timbi wala, mwa so me bula pinyado. Lopudi nde na na di be moye na si. We have worked with Sister for Sister organization. We have worked with the creatives. We have worked with Gash Photography. We have worked with Imagine Leaders Foundation. Yeah. And now we are partnering with Generations Aloud. Yeah. Yeah, we do face challenges and I think for me one of the challenges that I know that we face and you could even hear it from the way you are speaking is that we don't have muscle in terms of men because we, we want to focus on both genders, the girl child and the boy child because we have no uh, discrimination towards any. We love both and we believe that both are important for society to grow. Mm -hmm. But because we, the co-founders are ladies, mm -hmm. Um, most of the people in our in our team are also ladies, so we have a challenge in terms of muscle for mentors who are men. Funding could also be a problem because money can really never be enough. So let's say we want to do a project and we want to, we have a budget of like two hundred thousand, and we really don't have that much amount of money because, yeah, yeah. So but we try uh, as much as possible to be creative and find ways of raising the funds which could be either through photography, mm -hmm. through the help of gas photography and in creatives. We could also, we also try to bake and just do confectionaries and sell them to people. We also just try to make things like pretty, pretty cards or pretty bookmarks and we sell them. And the best thing that we have people who are very supportive and who would even buy them even at a crazy rate just to support our vision and what we are doing. And at time uh, we also seek donations in kind from companies yeah. that can uh, donate and yeah yeah we just 
we're thankful for the people who always stand with us and support us even through this time. And we hope to even do more and get people who will be able to support us even in more ways, even in terms of monetary. So people are our biggest resource and people are our biggest capacity. With people you can do anything, literally. So we go out, find people, and people help us. So like she said, we are very thankful for the people who have supported our vision, for the people who have carried our vision, and even for the people who have supported us in terms of monetary or donations in kind. <laughs>